got the greatest of all time in the back there. What's up guys, hope you're good. Welcome back to another episode of Why Not Me. And today, as always, I've been heavily requested to show a full day of my eating because for some reason people find it interesting as to as to why I normally think that people that ask that question are looking for some kind of secret, some sort of magical food that they're missing out on. But my diet is honestly very, very, in comparison to probably how it could be, in comparison to other bodybuilders, it's pretty boring. And I pretty much eat the same things every single day. But maybe you'll pick up a few things. Maybe you'll pick up some tips. I also have legs today, but I'm not going to show you that session because I did show a few clips of it the other day. I'd rather have Ben come and film the session I can talk about cues etc which is coming up the one with Ben that I filmed with Adam should be out on Friday so yeah that goes into a little bit more detail about training and it gives me a chance to really speak a little bit more uh, whereas vlogging on my phone in the gym um, and going through a session like that I feel is a little bit boring and less interactive uh, today full day of eating yesterday was a fantastic day um, my first client on stage michael 20 years old i'm gonna put some photos up he looked he looked stellar he won his junior class at the pca show untested show he's natty he just looked unbelievable um and he held his own in the overall as well he looked really good up there against guys who have at least 10 years training experience on him um, very very proud of him very proud of the result like highlighted to me how much i really enjoy that process of coaching and, and taking someone through that process and seeing him on show day and organizing it and, and mapping out the peaking process and making sure the tan was right making sure the glaze was perfect making sure the look on stage was right the presentation it was just all a great process enough of that bullshit and talking well not bullshit congratulations to michael enough of me talking shit and just whatever let's get to mill one so as i showed you in episode one of why not me mill one is just ground rice dark chocolate some berries i'm gonna have 150 grams of these um i cannot find any blueberries right now which is really annoying um but this ground rice like i said before if you're not buying this i don't know what you're doing because 1.5 kg for like two quid Supplement companies are bullshitting you, selling you literally the same thing with some extra flavorings and pretty packaging for 20 quid, 15 to 20 quid. Save your money, get ground rice. I get it down a uh, like a Caribbean shop that's local to me. You can get it in kind of like um, like on like world food sections and shops and that sort of thing. And if if you have like a Caribbean or an African shop um, in your area, you'll probably find this in there. Uh, I know that Whitworths as well do it, um, so you might find that in like the home baking section. We are also having some whey protein, which is uh, applied nutrition, which is cookies and cream flavor, like Oreo. Tastes pretty good, quite thin in consistency, but I'm okay with that. Um, I'm just gonna drink this, actually. Oh my fucking god, bro. I'm just gonna drink this. I'm not gonna turn it into like a paste or anything like that or mix it in the cream of rice. I'm just gonna drink it. There we have it. So meal number one is 100 and... No, it's not. What am I saying? 100, why do I keep doing this? 50 grams of cream of rice. We have a little bit of stevia in there to keep it sweet. Uh, and we have 20 grams of dark chocolate. We have 150 grams of berries. 50 grams of whey protein just in a shake. Once this is done, I'm then going to get myself into some work. Normally as well, when I'm eating, I just try and watch something and just stay locked into that because it is so easy to get distracted, especially with my job. Like I'll just get on my phone and start replying to clients whilst I'm eating and it just takes too long to eat. And uh, so one thing I've been watching recently is this Gladiators um, program. Basically documents the behind the scenes of American Gladiator back in the late 80s, early 90s. And it's actually really interesting very very interesting fun fact as well i actually had trials for the new gladiator show that's on bbc i had trials back in i believe in march that was it didn't go well because your boy is not on gladiators but uh the trials were actually fun we basically had to do a load of fitness tests that i was actually surprisingly good at but you know what it is i just don't i don't think i'm made for tv but also i have a feeling that they had their people picked before the trials were done because a lot of the people on that show are like influences the high kind of profile but yeah a great experience nonetheless i'm surprised i can still do 20 burpees in a row and do like 
hanging challenges and we also had to wrestle people as well, which was pretty fun. All right, meal two, about to go down. Just finished some work, finished some programming for one of my friends, actually. That's something I'm actually offering now, which is like a one-off program for people who have that experience. All they really need is the program. They want somebody else to actually build it for them. I wouldn't recommend this for most people because the issue that most people have is actually just a lack of accountability. But if that's something you're looking for, hit me up. We have some green beans that are just boiling right now. Gonna boil them for about six minutes. Got some rice and chicken. Let's have a look. Uh, as I mentioned, mm, as I mentioned, AJ lowered my food. Uh, 50 grams of dry weight rice, which equals around 140 grams of, of cooked weight rice. So they both equal around 180 calories. I use jasmine rice. Jasmine rice actually tastes very, very nice. In my rice as well, when I boil it, I also put in coriander and some of this as well, which is tremendous. Chicken seasoned, like usually it's jerk seasoning. But on this one, I believe I used um, some of this right here. Really easy, this along with, I think a little bit of jerk on there it is on there and we also have some chili paste on there as well. Just gotta make sure that the meals actually taste good, that they actually taste decent. Yes, it's very simple, it's just chicken and rice, but I enjoy it. And then once that's all prepared, we're gonna use some of this Tabasco. As you can see, I, I like a lot of spice. I do like a lot of spice. Uh, and I find as well, when I use Tabasco sauce, it runs out so quickly though, because I just, pour it on <laughs> that is not a lot of food is it i honestly just don't really feel hungry stuff like i'm relatively hungry here and there like, mm, like i could go get a burger but i'm not i don't feel like i'm in a prep yet uh, i think it's going to be a long while before i feel that to be honest with you i think a lot of that is down to the rate of loss it's taking a long time i started prep very early i started dieting in march and also i'm somebody who prefers to feel hungrier as well so i guess this is a little bit more comfortable for me than stuffing my face and eating 6,000 calories um, that process for me is definitely a lot lot more uncomfortable for the most part you feel more athletic you feel better you feel just more productive fitter vegetables are done what i'm actually going to do is put some paprika over them actually no i'm not some cajun spice yeah so i'm gonna put some of that over the green beans and then veg is just limited to 100 grams 99 that'll do because i'm trying to get shredded gonna eat this meal do a little bit more work then eat another meal then i'm, I'm gonna head to the gym i'm also gonna do some check-ins i've got some more check-ins to do uh, and then that's pretty much it. I'm trying to get all my work done before I train. I'm not trying to get my biggest task done once I've trained. Once I've, especially when I train legs. I just want to kind of chill out a little bit. Um, which is why sometimes you'll see me train late. Because um, it's been a long day of work. And I'd rather get that work done first and then train. Because training for me is just autopilot. I, I know I can always just train. I'll, I'm going to go to the gym regardless. If I have to go to the gym at 1 in the morning, I'll go to the gym at 1 in the morning. It's probably silly, but... I guess you kind of know what I'm getting at here. Like, I really want to prioritize my work first as opposed to the training. So, so it's time for the next meal, pre-workout meal, which you guessed it, cream of rice again. So yeah, the quantities are a little bit different this time. Uh, we have 100 grams of ground rice now, uh, 20 grams of dark chocolate, 85%, and 100 grams of raspberries. More ground rice, um, just to help the performance in the gym. This is my pre-workout meal. And if you're wanting to get more out of your training, nutrition around your training window matters and also nutrient timing matters. Macro breakdown matters. How you're distributing your macros throughout the day. Those little things add up if you're a competitor or if you're just somebody who wants to take their training to that next level and um, just enhance their, their, their nutrition a little bit more. And then obviously just some whey. So I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna train in about probably 40 minutes, 45 minutes. I'm gonna actually go to my local supplement shop, Vision Nutrition, shout out to Jack, uh, who has a great supplement shop in Bedford. So if you're around the area, make sure you check it out. Uh, but I'm gonna go actually pick up a pre-workout. One, because I haven't had a caffeinated pre-workout consistently for a long while. And I actually really fancy one for legs. I just, I'm feeling some MV pre, <laughs> to be honest with you. And also I want, Bryony to try MV Pre because I've told her about MV Pre uh, for a few weeks now. I've been like, you should try it. 
great pre-workout, etc. She's never had it, so I'm gonna get that for her to try. Eat this, head to the supplement shop, and uh, <laughs> might catch a, a quick 20 minute nap, and then, and then head to the gym for legs. Well, there it is. <laughs> the spice of the fitness industry mv3 very very good pre-workout and yeah you would have also seen a little bit of like a like a pan of vision nutrition so that is jack's supplement shop really good like he gets a lot of stuff imported and uh like some, some top quality supplements so um yeah and a good guy great guy cares about the shop cares about fitness good coach good guy all around so Go check him out. It's past 2 p.m. and I'm gonna have caffeine. I'm, I'm not a serious bodybuilder, I can't have caffeine past 2 p.m. But I feel like I actually need it today. Yeah, yesterday was yesterday was quite a long day. Very early start. Ended up getting home quite late. Done my cardio quite late as well as a result. So sleep wasn't really the best. So I'm just feeling it a little bit today. So I don't really want to rely on this. I don't I don't wanna take this like every session that I do. I do want to have some respite. I don't I don't really want to rely on caffeine to get me through the sessions. I want to wait until I'm absolutely on my ass and then it's like, okay, no, I, I need something here. Um, I think it's really important to use your tools wisely in prep. Use your tools wisely. Just finished training legs, does some pose in post-workout as well. I am pretty convinced that MV Pre has some kind of performance enhancer in it because Every time I take that pre-workout, it's just a different feeling to every single other pre-workout I've taken. I don't, I haven't really looked at the ingredient panel in depth. <laughs> I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I give it a few years and the UK, the FBA, the BNBF will knuckle down on something that's in there because what in the world? You almost just go into the clouds and the focus is just ridiculous. And you're just on this stupid high throughout the whole session. Today was really good though. I felt super strong and the confidence in the hamstring every single week just gets better and better. So yeah, next week it'll be 200 kilos on the RDL. Easily as well, easily. I know the I know the weight's there, the weight is there. And what's really cool as well is I'm doing that now without a belt. I actually feel more stable without the belt. I think I was probably bracing a little bit off with the belt. And maybe potentially relying it, relying on it a little bit too much rather than using my own core as much. I don't know, um, but I just feel so much more stable. And also, I can tell that my low back, my lower back has gotten a lot stronger because when I first started training, doing RDLs, I'd regularly ping my back regularly. And I think I just, my body would just crumble holding weight. Um, whereas now, over time, as I've built muscle in my erectors it just feels so much more secure. It already feels like I have a belt on, and genuinely. Um, so I'm just gonna keep at that and just keep growing my back as well. Uh, the next meal, oh it's, oh, it's spaghetti bolognese. I haven't shown you guys this one yet. So spaghetti bolognese for meal four post-workout, and then my last meal is gonna be a smoothie, and then it's bed for me. And then I can't wait for you to see that video with Adam, man. Very good video. It's just gonna be a little bit lengthy, but, Ben is working hard at it. I'm filming with Ben tomorrow as well. So we are filming a push day. I'm being joined by Ash if he doesn't flake. Um, so you will see that as well. That will be episode five or six. So we're running through them. We are running through these episodes. I will see you guys back at the flat. So we're on to meal number four, which is just uh, 75 grams of pasta. We have 150 grams of mince, that's raw weight and then cooked and then we've got green beans and we also have a bit of a little bit of chopped tamales in there um, so i've just had less green beans in this meal 50 grams of green beans and then alongside um, about a third of a, of a tin of chopped tomatoes the main thing with stuff like that is that you just just keep it consistent just keep it consistent uh, alongside that i'm gonna put some of this sauce on there yeah i'm not gonna have a lot of this but it makes them it just taste real good that MV Pre has me feeling some type of way. I should not have had that. It's been so long since I've had a stim like that. And I can feel it, I feel just buzzed still. So I'm gonna eat this meal and then show you my last meal, which is a smoothie. Okay guys, on to the last meal of the day, which is just a smoothie. 
Uh, if you recall, I was drinking oats in my off season, which also led into my prep. But obviously as we needed to push for more fat loss, as I was drinking my meal anyway, removing the oats from the meal was a good opportunity to take away a good chunk of carbs um, and really push for more fat loss. So that's what we just done. And again, like this shake, especially during this time of the year with the weather, it, it's just really nice. Uh, so we're gonna just do uh, 60 grams of protein um, and then I'm gonna have almond butter, source of fats, almond, almond, I don't know, however you say it, almond butter, uh, 20 grams, 20 grams, source of fat, 20 grams. I'm allergic to peanuts, so if I get this wrong, if I just if I'm just lazy with the label, which I never really am, but if I am, it's uh, that's not that's not good news. <laughs> so, and then we've got 200 grams of berries. I'm using some raspberries at the minute because I can't find blueberries anywhere, and I don't really want to buy fresh blueberries. It's a lot cheaper to get frozen. Okay. Perfect. Literally looks like this before I before I blend it. And then once I've blended it, I'm gonna actually throw some ice in there. I don't know how people drink warm smoothies. This is not enjoyable to me at all. But you should all right. All right, all done. There is, mmm, all its glory. But this meal is honestly really, really nice. Really good. Uh, it might change once we get a little bit deeper into prep and I get a little bit hungrier and I'll change to something solid or just actually eat this meal solid. So I'll just mix the almond butter with the fruit and then just drink the shake on the side. But for now, it tastes great. It does the job, so we're good. Anyway, I'm gonna go, gonna have this, head to bed, wake up in the morning, finish some editing, do some more work. And I've got a busy day tomorrow. And like I said, I'm filming with Ben as well. So excited. So guys, make sure to subscribe. Any video suggestions that you have, anything you wanna see on the channel, let me know. I know a few people have been suggesting certain topics to me on Instagram that they want me to go over. So I will be honoring that. Other than that, I hope you are having a great day wherever you are and I will see you soon.